Hello and welcome back everybody to game number three in the semi-final series. Right now it is tied up 1-1 for both players as this is a best of three and game three. We could have no other possible score. Sweet. Anyway, spawning in the top right side we have Swagum's the Zerg player who managed to pull out a valiant effort last game and managed to tie up the series after losing the first game. And in the top left we have Lost Patriots, spawning as our Protoss player who took a decisive win in the first game. At least that's what I think happened. Yeah, that's exactly what happened. Last game, though, was an epic game full of tons of storms, tons of drops, and some very, very interesting play. It's too bad that I wasn't able to include all the drops as picture-in-picture -picture little videos in the bottom, but for some reason, uh, without wasting hours and hours and hours doing interesting, weird video editing, it would not let me insert more than one picture-in-picture -picture throughout the entire game movie. So anyways, yeah, we see absolutely nothing weird coming out from either player. We do not see an early 10 pool, 6 pool, anything, no gateway rush, just forge fast expand being planned by the Protoss player. And then we see the gate, because the probe is here already, he chose to throw down the spawning pool, as that probe will be able to block this for quite a while. And right now, though, he doesn't even have the minerals to be able to put it down, because he already threw down the spawning pools. So, that poor probe actually not doing its job, and it didn't even scout the spawning, spawning pool. Come on, man. There we go, though. He actually does manage to delay this ever so slightly now. So, forcing the Zerg player to produce some Zerglings instead. Then again, he might have wanted to produce those Zerglings. Anyways, hoping for a quick, you know, get off. Anyways, looks like Swag lost Patriots being extremely smart and grabbing the watchtowers. He will see these Zerglings incoming, and what will his reaction be? Uh, he has definitely seen them, and, 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 there we go. He built the pylon at the very last second, creating a nice wall off, tight wall in, and cancels it of course, because there's no point after a pylon there. Whoa, and he built a complete wall off again using the cybernetic support, kind of interesting. Is he like teching up the starport or something? Either way, he has a complete wall in right now, and no longer has vision anywhere on the map. And we can see Swagum, so interestingly enough, expanding a third time but he's produced a ton of zerglings this really doesn't make sense he's even producing more zerglings it does not make sense at all to expand a third base when your second one's not even done and produce a bunch of zerglings that really doesn't make sense anyways if we look at the income tab we can see he's definitely well behind in the economy as he's choosing to ignore that income and for some reason build a bunch of zerglings that will do absolutely nothing uh, so that's definitely a sour point for Swagum. It's not a good start to this game as he does need to win it if he wants to stay in the winner's bracket and not be bumped down to the loser's bracket where he faces elimination. We can see nothing too interesting happening right now, just warp gates coming out. Oh, and we do see a pretty early Twilight Council. I'm wondering if this will be Link play coming out of the Protoss player or not. But we can see finally some serious dronage happening from our Zerg player. And this is definitely good, as much needed, but it's definitely not enough. looks like I was absolutely wrong about that, it's going to be a Dark Shrine, and I'm really surprised that he's bringing up the Dark Shrine, as it is this late in the game, we can see the lair is already coming down, so Swagums will easily be able to morph into some Overseers and easily spot this, and should be able to hold it off pretty well, provided that he does have an Overseer in the right position. Uh, right now though, he does not have any scouting information on the base, so he will not know the Dark Shrine is there, and it'll be interesting to see what, uh... Lost Patriots is able to do damage wise with this, as right now there is not the protection. I wonder if he will have even noticed that the watchtower is going down and there's no units. Probably not. He's not warping in any overseer and his own. Oh, wherever it is, it is not in the right place. And there we go. Because they're finally being warped in the base. But I don't think it will be soon enough, and he definitely should have made a couple extras. And there we go, the second one. A little bit late though, as his queen will definitely get sliced to death. Oh, oh, that sucks. Sucks to be a drone, and look at that, the base is forced down. That's a huge loss for Swagums, and he's also lost a ton of workers, so definitely not looking too good for him this game. And we see a Warp Prism dropping an epic harass here from DTs as well as Zellas, and they look like they're going to get a lot of damage, but there is a Spore Crawler there. No, Lost Patriots, you should have focused down that Spore Crawler. Did you not see it? And the Hero Spore Crawler saves the day as we have a multi prong attack here. A lot of nice multitasking from Lost Patriots. So it's a very, very good play. We see a Warp Prism dropping down as well, and a second one I should mention. And that might just be to ferry units in and out of the base, or to make secondary attacks. But considering he's building Immortals, I'm going with the ferry units in and out of the base. 
finally he's adding on some more gateways to help with his economy to be able to spend all that money and yeah we'll see what he does as he's right now preparing quite a big attack here and will he get down no he will not get down before the spine crawlers is finished and i think this will make this attack quite useless but the roaches are a little far away it depends how quickly the roaches are oh that is not very good wow so painful to watch all the time wasted trying to get these units done once again just keep sniping wow there's the over here so there's no point sniping that score crawler but it looks like this attack will be easily deflected. He doesn't really do any damage here, which quite is not a good thing. And Swagum's rebuilding this base as our Protoss player is finally getting his armor upgrade, having already gotten weapons level 1. Not too much else going on in the base. Looks like he wants to make some warp gates. Maybe not. <laughs> I really don't get why players hotkey their gateways when there's a custom hotkey that Blizzard gives you for free call up warp gates, but we do see these zealots in this one dark templar managed to escape, looks like uh, Swagum's not going to pursue them, maybe he thought they were picked up, I don't know, but the immortal drop here is doing a ton of damage, totally, totally fucked that one guys, sorry, but yeah, this immortal drop basically taking out everything in the main, and he can easily lift off the immortals in the orb, and run away, as right now there's absolutely no anti-air, other than the queens, and they're nowhere near in position. And he's having to rebuild that roach horn inside of his natural, and again being attacked from all angles at once. A massive amount of damage being done here. Swagum is not doing a good job at splitting up his army, and really, really, really needs something to do with those warp prisms a lot better. And definitely this, so building a lot of spine crawlers is definitely a good start. But you know he needs a little bit more than that to be able to pull out this game. It looks like he's definitely going to win this game. Sorry, definitely going to lose this game though. I don't really think there's much chance for him to win anymore. This wall is just way too tight, there's a couple sentries here to force field the ramp, and he really can't break up here, he would have to have Overlord drop, which he does not have, that would be about the only chance I see of him being able to win this game and get back in, and these spine crawlers are definitely not enough to build the army there, as these roaches were preoccupied up here, which was a big mistake, swagging, 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 defend your most important locations first, and wow, look at the number of workers killed throughout this game, 32 workers! That is just an insane number, as Lost Pages is just bringing the damage, he loves killing those workers, as we saw last game, he killed a ton of workers too, using a lot of side storms, dropping them on the mineral fields and doing so much damage. We see a ton more spine crawlers being produced, but Swagums just does not, just does not have the economy to keep up, I don't see any way that he can come out of this. Thankfully for him though, it looks like he has managed to pull ahead 3200 resources ahead in the units lost tab, but if we look at the spending tab, uh, that's not going to cut it, because right now we can see, let's see, 4,000, uh, about 6,000, yeah, the Protoss players have spent six or 7,000 resources more, but he's only lost 3,000, so he's still ahead 6,000. Definitely the poor third player, Slagum, so looks like he's going to have to GG at any time. A matter of time, let's see what he does, you see his multi pronged attack, taking out both bases again. Those are a lot of roaches left, but he pretty much has nothing to deal with those war prisms. Oh, there we go, a Hydralis Den finally coming out. If he, can, if he can get enough Hydras to hold us off, oh, once again, we're not splitting up his roaches well enough, and a ton of ton of damage to be dealt in this base. Ah, oh, that just sucks for him, chasing down a few units with his whole army. Guys, remember, you can always split your army into a couple of groups and attack separately. And I think Swagum's definitely has no chance. Now, he might have had a chance a little bit earlier if he had properly defended that. And, you know, but he really needs that extra base. He really, really, really needs the extra bases if he wants anything to be able to do, as this one lair will not be able to win in the game. Although, he does have the small advantage that Lost Patriots is not expanding himself. And, oh, this base getting taken out immediately. The base that he needed tried to kind of be sneaky maybe with that. I'm not too sure what happened, but that was definitely not a good choice. A better choice probably would have been to break down the rocks and go for this base, or maybe try and ninja this one. I think that probably would have been his best choice, as the Protoss player has not been really diligent in scouting the rest of the map, as you can see. And we see a lot of force fields coming down there. That was beautiful. I'm just going to back that up and look at that battle once again, as that was absolutely, absolutely awesome. As, wow. And the Immortal crushes that one force field in front. Ah, that's what happened. Yeah, and you see a ton of damage being dealt extremely cost efficiently by force building in those roaches so they can't do anything and letting the immortals shoot free and well, really it's just a matter of time to make GG now if you really want to, like, you know, get humiliated more, but it's 
hold on to your life because this is the last match, the last chance to stay in the winner's bracket, and you will be eliminated. But right now he has absolutely no army left, but full shield is just way too strong, as well as the immortal is insanely powerful. And there we go, the last of these is our folly, and they fall soon. And Swagums GG's and leaves the game, and Lost Patriot wins, advancing on to the finals of the Strayman StarCraft 2 v 2.1 tournament. I couldn't resist saying that mouthful. I'm getting better at getting it without stumbling too, aren't I? Anyways guys, hope to see you in the next game. I'll probably be casting the Losers semifinals.